Camelot 331 here, and I got some pretty disgusting and alarming stuff coming out of CVS Pharmacy. Now, I've got plenty of stories from CVS Pharmacy in the past, so it sounds like a pretty terrible place. Sounds like a place that I wouldn't want to go into for any damn reason. Not even for ibuprofen. And I'd be rocking that hangover headache on the damn daily, son, because I can't get enough of that whiskey, son. Because it makes everything feel a little bit better on the inside. You know what I'm saying? CVS is pretty crazy. And I'm going to tell you a story today about something that has happened recently at CVS that is so damn disgusting, I can't damn believe it. And it's going to be a learning experience to make sure this sort of thing doesn't happen to you. Don't fall victim to trying to please corporate masters that couldn't give a damn if you die. And I mean literally die. So before we get into it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, doodle. Please spread it for awareness so people know that CVS is bad as hell, son. And not in a good way. Like when you see a girl in Las Vegas and you're like, damn, she's bad as hell. No, I mean in a bad way where they're like literally bad as Satan. The ruler of hell. And let's jump right into this. Check this out real quick. So this right here has 53,000 updoodles, son. 53,000. This says, Ashley Anderson died while working at CVS as a pharmacist because she was told she couldn't leave for two hours until her replacement arrived. She was feeling ill and died of a heart attack. CVS should be investigated for a workers' rights violation. CVS right now has been completely silent about all of this. They have not made one statement and they're hoping it goes away. And you best damn believe you better share this shit so it doesn't go away. Because they literally killed this woman. Literally. And look, I know what you're thinking. You're like, why didn't she leave? She's a pharmacist. She probably should have recognized these things. Heart attacks show themselves in different ways. I had an uncle once that had a heart attack and he literally thought he had gas. And then he went to the hospital the next day because it didn't go away. And he had a heart attack and had no idea. Now he did not pass away from this like she did. But look, that's beside the point. CVS told her she had to stay because she was feeling ill. You should never be required to stay anywhere if you're feeling ill. Okay? Ever. You do not owe that company anything. But let's go a little bit further. It says, The pharmacist I worked with years ago at CVS sliced off the tip of his finger, opening totes from Cardinal. He called the district scheduler to let her know he was closing the pharmacy to go to the hospital to have it reattached. She told him he had to wait until someone got in to cover. His response was something along the lines of, No, it's an emergency. I'm notifying you what happened and I'm doing. You can get someone to come in, but I'll be gone before they get there. That's a great response. That's exactly what you should do. Okay, that's exactly what you should do. There is no damn reason. Look at this. This is actually pretty important. There are 12 U.S. companies with the lowest employee ratings. Of roughly 4,700 reviews posted about the company on Glassdoor, drugstore CVS Health received an average of 2.7, making it one of the worst employed reviews companies in the United States. I don't know if that has anything to do with uh, having a terrible working conditions, but they killed that lady. Look. A lot of people can say a lot of things. They were responsible for that. Okay? Look, I know she should have been out of there. I know she should have been gone. And she should have left. She should have got out of there. But ultimately, a lot of people are afraid to lose their job. Because that's their livelihood. She didn't know what was going on. She was like, well, I'm, I'll leave. You know, I'll go to the hospital after. But she didn't make it in time. That is the issue. And I, 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 CBS needs to make a statement at least saying something. At least saying something and not ignoring it, but they don't give a damn. And a lot of people are saying, oh, well, you know, we don't really know this happened. Well, upon further investigation, you can find the Facebook uh, note or the Facebook post announcing that she had passed away. This is her right here. If you go into the comments, everyone's saying that she was a great pharmacist. A great pharmacist. I'm so shocked. I can't believe it. She was such a fun person and maybe the most organized pharmacist I've ever met. So if you connect easily two dots, and then you can go to an obituary right here, then that's this is the same lady. This is what happened. All of these people are pharmac pharmacists, fellow pharmacists that are commenting on this thing that literally just happened, guys. Just happened. CBS told her she could not leave. Look, this is a learning experience, and it's a tragedy. But you absolutely, if you're feeling ill, do not stay at a company that literally will let you die 
like we're seeing right here, and not even make a damn statement about it. Look, some can argue CVS isn't directly responsible, even though I believe they are. You can maybe argue that. Maybe. Somehow. Somewhere. But they got to release the statement. You can't be silent about it because that's guilty as hell. They're hoping people don't talk about it. Well, your boy's talking about it. Share this video, please. Share it to show these people that CVS, yeah, they don't care. Even if they don't feel guilty or do feel guilty, they're not making a statement, which means they, they don't care. They're hoping it disappears. Do not stay at a place if you feel ill. You owe the company nothing, okay? They ain't even going to give you a damn bonus, son. Most of these companies aren't going to give you a bonus for any reason. All right? There's been so many times where I was throwing up in a trash can, and I called my district manager, and he told me, he told me that I couldn't leave. And early on in my career, I, 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 I heeded that because I was worried to get fired. Later on in my career, I gave two shits. Exactly two shits. And that's not a lot of shits to give because I was sick one time, and it was pretty, pretty shortly before I left GameStop. And he told me I couldn't leave. And I was like, well, I'm not asking. I'm leaving. <laughs> and I left. I called my third key in and I locked the door behind me and didn't set the alarm. And I left. And he came in like probably 30 minutes later. It was a slow day. I guarantee you we lost no sales. But I was getting the hell out of there because I felt like I was dying. All right. Which should always be the case. When I was a manager, I never told people they had to stay when they were sick. Okay. Ever. Ever. And, th and neither should you if you're a manager. CVS probably has policies around this because if you go to the CVS Reddit, every single person's agreeing that they're not allowed to leave until their, their cover comes up. I don't get it. Is losing sales that important that you'll let an associate die and then not even make a statement about it? Holy hell. It just really annoys the hell out of me makes me mad makes me want to cut my hands off and throw them at you i want to throw these hands directly at the ceo and all the damn executives that are involved in this company at all whoever's in power i'm throwing my hands at you i'm gonna cut them off put them in a box and i'll mail them to you with a little bow on them and shit i'm sick of this this is something that needs to never happen again and i feel like i've seen stories like this a couple times now no stop Look, if you're in this situation, you're in pain, regardless of what it is, and you want to go to the hospital, or even if you want to go home and lay down, do it. Do it. I can't stress this enough. You don't owe the company nothing. You don't owe the company nothing. And Ashley's honor, please share this video so her story is told. Because otherwise, taint nobody give a damn. Well, I don't, I don't think that's right. So let me know what you think in the comments. Please like and comment. And don't forget to share this damn bid you. And please do me a big old favor. Make sure you get the hell on it, doggone it. There's like 400 million people in my country. There's like a handful of people in power. I don't know about you. But I'm pretty sure we'll win in like a fist fight. Just gonna put that out there. Bye. Yeah.